So that is more fellow? Yes. It's with William Diamond. He's uh, one of the schools there. Come on, we'll chase the regulars around. Get down the road. Regulars are out there, down the road.
174 regulars and 41 colonists. In Lexington, we will always honor the memory of these first casualties of war who gave their lives for their country in the first battle of the American Revolution. They are Jonas Parker, Samuel Hadley, John Brown, Isaac Muzzy, Caleb Harrington, Asahel Porter, Robert Monroe, Jonathan Harrington Jr. Seven of these fallen are buried here under the granite obelisk located on the knoll on the west side of the common. This is the oldest memorial of the Revolutionary War. Shortly, you will see the Lexington Minutemen assemble and prepare to march to the old burying ground just behind the first terrace at the back of the common. There they will fire a salute over the resting place of many of those who fought here 242 years ago. As they offer the salute, they also commemorate the moment when later that day, Captain Parker sought his revenge on those who inflicted harm on his men. 
with the smell of gunpowder still in the air, their neighbors and brothers dead in the wake of this morning battle. And knowing the size of the force they faced that morning, this small militia company bravely marched toward Concord to meet the British column once again. They marched resolutely, motivated by the idea that freedom was within their grasp. They marched to the sound of William Diamond's drum and the song of fife music, which echoes through the ages. Lexington's town seal includes the phrase, what a glorious day for America. Although lives were lost that day, these words honor those that sacrificed everything, yea, in life itself, in support of the common cause. It was indeed a glorious day. Thank you, and good morning.